Dr. Bona, the police had a duty on that day, executed it. The protesters also carried out their concerns. Issues happened. Now we are seeing how things have played out over the last few days. Could this have been done differently? Well, good morning, Alfred, and good morning to my brother, mm -hmm. uh, Mampam. Uh, yes, <laughs> Mampam. <laughs> and, and when then, uh, the <laughs> petition to parliament uh, no. against you, yes, and, uh, yes. yes, it's yes. still hanging. Yes, indeed. exactly. And then my, my slave here, Dominic <laughs> Ayene, uh, and then and, and your viewers and, and our viewers. I, I'm sure uh, my brother, Matt, uh, Dominic, is going to say, I'm, I, I expect him to say not every politician is, is a crook. <laughs> and uh, majority, majority are not crooks. I'm, I'm they, sure Mr. Pibu knows that. Yes, uh, <laughs> there are a lot of, there are, there are a lot of, uh, you know, <coughs> decent. decent politicians who will not do some mm. of the things probably we have seen and continue to see. And so I, I know Martin Pibu, when, when the spirit descend, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, he, he, don't, he doesn't forgive anybody. <laughs> but uh, to go into the substance of the matter, uh, I would say, without you know, mincing words, that uh, the police have improved when it comes <clears throat> to these things. And I think when Martin came, I when you know when he arrived, I had a conversation where, unfortunately, it looks like he was with us in 1999 mm -hmm. uh, at the castle. Yes, when we demonstrated. Uh, in, you know, Snook's demonstration. Mm -hmm. I was a student leader by then. Mm -hmm. Kofi Boachi used to be the, I think, the director of operations, or he used to be ASP. Mm -hmm. We were beaten. Mm -hmm. In fact, chased into our homes. Yes. Students were arrested, put in their, is it blue or blue moaks? Yeah. And whilst students were kept in the blue moaks, they would put a tear gas canister in the moak. And I mean, mm. Jama, Baba Jama, there were, you know, yeah. several. We were student leaders yeah. mm -hmm. and were fighting the then Rollins regime. So I will tell you that anybody who has been party to violent demonstrations and been beaten, you are very careful when demonstrations are called and you, you ask yourself, should I be there? Should I not be there? And so mine is that over the years, there's been significant improvements. Were we not in this country when law students who were protesting over how they've been marked down and how things have not been done well, demonstrated and they were pepper sprayed, they were beaten and chased and some were arrested. We're in this country. Mm -hmm. And so I say that when you see an improvement take place, it is important to acknowledge the improvement whilst also talking about the duty not to be excessive. When you look at what <laughs> happened on the day, the first day, I watched it. Several officers on the ground called me for some reason. They were complaining that some of them have been pushed, some of them have either been slapped. And, and I said, well, for me, as well, I mean, I don't work. I'm not a police. They, they thought that we are some of the people who Alfred and co would call to discuss these things. Mm -hmm. But what the police in the past have been known to do was to say charge. There used to be a certain commander yes. who was referred to as charge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to yes. that extent. So you dare go out and you say charge. And when they were coming, you know what they did? The police in the past, they would bring recruits from the very, you know they usually have recruits who are undergoing training. And because of the the, the, the rigorous nature of the training, when they unleash them, they have no mercy. They have no name badge. They have their helmet covering their face. And after they've beaten, finished beating all of you, they pack them back into the police, their blue buses, and they take them back to what do you call that, uh, their training facilities. And, and most of them in the past took pride in how many people they were able to beat. Mm. They say, oh, I beat one of them and he couldn't walk. <laughs> and some of us used to ask, why would you beat another human being and you celebrate? So, Alfred, answering your question, what I would say that the police had a duty on, on the day to ensure 
that law and order. And I was, I mean, I'm, and I still ask questions. If I probably I had known that uh, they wouldn't arrest anybody uh, on the first day, maybe I would have joined the first day protests. Because well, that then, was last week, Saturday. Yes, some because, were up. because then we saw some of them literally take the laws into their own hands and do things. And I'm happy <clears throat> Martin Pebu is here. You've mentioned Pebu number one and number one, number two. I mean, when you look at that ruling, I mean, I have read it several times. I mean, it said remand should not be used as a punishment. Mm -hmm. One of the, the, the things that were cited in it mm -hmm. was remand should not be used as a form of punishment. punishment. Mm -hmm. And I think Martin spoke about we have improved after people number two. Because when you go to the UK, US, Germany, they still have their anti-terrorism laws that forbids <clears throat> the courts from granting people who have been arrested with allegation of, uh, what do you call it, uh, terrorism, terrorism and, and, and things of that nature. But ours is, is clear that every offense, depending on the discretion of the judge, you can be granted bail the same day. And I think that in our statutes, it's also there that uh, I, I'm sure if the Chief Justice is listening to us, we should but have... But we will come to that because the AG and other lawyers also make the case that bail is not absolute or automatic. It's a discretionary it comes matter. With, it's with discretionary. Conditions. So depending Obviously. on... And we can't take that... I mean, as for the Constitution is clear with, you know, how judges should operate. Mm -hmm. The Constitution is very clear. And so what I am trying to so say... So these are the instances you are referring to that they, were, they blocked the road and were playing football. Exactly. <laughs> so look at it. So when you block the roads this way, you stop every one from moving. Those who are sick and those who are not sick. And you burn, you burn refuse or whatever in the middle of the road. And this is a major... Referral hospital. And I am happy when Oliver Bakavomawo took ill, when he was ill. He was, went on his way, when they were taking him in the ambulance to the police hospital. No one has blocked the road. So mine is that there would have been excesses, but the police had a duty. Let's not, I mean, I would want us to separate the matters. That I'm saying is something that all of us are against. I am part of the media coalition against, what do you call it, uh, illegal mining in this country. But that notwithstanding, if you are demonstrating, you don't take the laws into your own hands and do some of the things we have seen. And so mine is that if this was to happen in other countries, probably the, that day, within hours, they would have cleared all of them. Some would have been beaten. But fortunately, they were not... Probably, yes, we've, uh, I mean, monitored how probably there are some excesses. Yes, so you can see, I mean. Uh, well, but, but could this have been handled differently in the sense that, I mean, yes, there were instances of, as Martin Pebu put it, the stance. What, what would be the, what, what would be, can you define what you mean by differently? Situate it in a proper context. Because differently means that, in the past, I gave you examples of, Mobraha struggle. I gave you examples of, uh, you know, other Martin people. I think uh, something um, you did re demonstration recently. Yeah, uh, Kumi 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 yes. Kumi Kumi I, I don't think people were beaten. Were people beaten? No, no. Nobody I was tried. beaten. So I will get it, but yes. did well. No, I'm coming. Of... People were not beaten probably because of the people who led. Mm -hmm. You see, those who lead demonstrations sometimes, and I always say it, you could lead a demonstration and others will come in and mess up the whole thing. NDC went on a demonstration prior to this uh, issue we are discussing. About one million Ghanaians flooded the streets of this country, 16 regions, apart from an isolated incident in Ashanti region. We didn't see the kind of disturbance we saw. So I always say that, you see, if you want to these two sets of, if you want trouble in this country, involve uh, NDC or involve MPP. <laughs> if you want to test whether you are strong, involve them, because they would have the capacity to run you over. But you can see that Chairman Nunketi and my brother here, Dominic Ayeni, and the rest, ensured that the demonstrators were very civil. Because I am looking for a day where a demonstration is called. 
and people, maybe the next demonstration for this uh, EC thing will come there. Maybe some of us will join because then I'm pretty sure that is going to be very civil. My, uh, somebody will not come and mess up and I'll be beaten like we were beaten in the 1999-89. But with this, and in fact, I, they had my support from, I mean, I kept saying that they have our support. But to go on the street and block the roads and burn tire and burn refuse and stop military, I had military officers on that day. In fact, call me because you know that area is also a military, zone. I mean, zone. Military people in their vehicle that were moving, can you imagine they were stopped and asked to use another route? They were stopped by who? They were stopped by the, the protesters who let them go. So the police approached them and asked them to leave, and they turned around. So what I'm trying to say is that, you see, there would have been some excesses. But let's be able to situate these things in the right context, or else we would end up, say, lumping everything together and just dwelling so much on the excesses, leaving out some of the things we saw. If they, I mean, few <laughs> year, many years ago, about a decade ago, there was a violent looting in, in the UK. Recently, there was a race riot in the UK. I don't know whether some of you monitored yes, it. Yes. Up to today, mm -hmm. the police is still arresting people and imprisoning them and prosecuting them. Because, you see, I want to live in a country where, in a situation like this, they film you doing some of these things, if they can locate you. The next day you are home, they come to you, and you are arrested with the evidence. You are taken to court, and then the court then decide whether your freedom should be curtailed or you should be allowed to go. And like I said, I don't actually agree to, you know, people going on remand as a form of punishment. Mm -hmm. No, as for that, I don't agree. As for that, I clearly don't agree. But mm -hmm. it's at the discretion per the law of the judge. And so I think that I've heard the their lawyers have gone to court for abridgment of, okay. uh, of the time to ensure that they are able to. But, you know, Alfred, I would want Dominic here. He was once upon a time the deputy, the, the number two, lawyer in Ghana. You see, the AG is the number one. The number two is usually his deputy. He was the number two. There is nowhere I can say that one day he might not be the number one. If tomorrow he becomes the number one, I would want to still look at him in the face and say that, I think, uh, Dominic, Honorable Ayene, these protesters, the way they did their thing, I think you are right for taking them to court. Mm -hmm. I think you are right for taking, but if I'm not able to say that today, to probably, if I cannot agree with, uh, what's his name, uh, our uh, AG, if I cannot agree with AG and say, oh, just let them go, I should be able to agree with the AG in a way and say, well, it's good you presented them to court for the court to decide. So that you see, let's test the law. I'm happy some of the arguments my brother Martin is bringing. You mm -hmm. see, our legal jurisprudence is still growing. Mm -hmm. And persons like Martin, Dominic, uh, Honorable, Ayeni, and the rest, and everybody, we are all pushing. Martin has directed maybe lawyers and law students to go and get the police service, their own uh, you know, regulations and all that. Look at it, read it. I think that from here, I like the debate that is ongoing at the moment because then I'm sure if there is another opportunity the police should be able to do it different mm -hmm. because of the conversations that is coming up. But let's not lose sight of what actually, you know, took us here. First of all, it is Garamsey. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, what is his me. name, Wound to me. Yes, I can tell mine in I am, I am, I am still, I still ask myself questions why the president said Wound to me. Uh, it's not engaged. It's not engaged in Galamsey. And mm -hmm. we all know uh, that the AG prosecutions time. are done for and behalf of the Attorney General. So mine is that can, uh, what is his name? This man, uh, dummy. no, can, would, would Dami allow the police to prosecute, uh, what is his name, Boon to me? To no, investigate him to investigate him, exactly. To so mine is that let's separate the issues, <clears throat> but if we don't separate it very well, we would actually use a sledgehammer 
in trying to kill a, a fly. I don't want to be tempted to say a butterfly, a fly. Mm -hmm. So I would want a situation where uh, the demonstrators, they should, they, I mean, already some of them have had their, I mean, all of them have had their day in court. Mm -hmm. The court has decided. Their lawyers know what to do. That is why they were trained. The advocate, they should go to court. I mean, some of them are already asking for abridgment of time. But mine is that I think the conduct of Oliver himself leave ma much to be, leaves much to be desired. Why? Because, you see, if I am leading a demonstration, I'll never run away from the, 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 the demonstration but ground. But did he run away? At, at a point, he mounted an Okada and left the scene. At a point. At a point when, you see... I mean, we've all, been, we've all been leaders in one way or the other and have led demonstrations. You led Kumi Preku. Uh, did you at any point leave the no, scene? No, no, no. no. So the moment you leave the scene, everybody is in disarray. Everybody does what he wants. So he left the scene. Eventually, I think the police looked for him and did. So what I'm trying to say is that he went into the people have, he went into the police truck, Alfred, <laughs> and took the key. People have said that, why did they leave the key in if you know the way what do you call it? Uh, tow trucks initiate towing a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Tow trucks and the mechanism that tow a vehicle and the, the, the tow trucks engine don't work differently. You need the engine to be on in a way for you to initiate a, what do you call it, uh, a tow. But even if that is not the case, was it necessary? To go in there as yourself, as a leader. Well, I don't want to say some of the things when you are leading a demonstration. Because you sit with, with your people and you plan, okay, you this. So you, the leader, you are able to direct what is. But for him himself to go remove a key, throw the key away, and begin to run, I ask myself that, I mean, these things are things that unconscionable. It shouldn't happen, but he did them. And so I want to hear my brother Martin Pebu and probably uh, Dr. Ayene, uh, you know, Honorable, he's yet to have his turn, would mm -hmm. speak to these things. Mm -hmm. I want to hear, let's have a balanced conversation. So that you see, in learning, some of us should be bold enough to join demonstrations because if this is how demonstrations are going to be done, I will not join. But maybe I am, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I will be comforted by the fact that now the police is moving away from beating people. Well, police will be moving away from beating people well, because what is going on, that, others that, have, yes. Mm -hmm. Does that justify the, the act now, even though they have moved away from beating people? Well, we don't know whether that is going to be the status quo. I don't know. I'm only saying it. I don't know, but you go on. Yes. No, no, no. I mean, I, well, I mean, you're making reference yes. to exactly what mm -hmm. happened now. And I'm saying that even if there's been that improvement yeah. in that regard, where in previous instances we had demonstrators beaten. Yes. Does that mean beaten that, properly? <laughs> that, <laughs> does, does that mean that it justifies the yeah. high handedness that we have also seen in this instance? Because there's been an improvement in, in well, previous cases. I, I, I think that, I think uh, we are told two of them were kept beyond the 48 hour rule. That's and the rule, the police. And yes. the rule is that you must submit them to a competent court of jurisdiction within. Mm -hmm. And in other places, I hope our jurisprudence will improve. In other places, you can actually go to a judge's home to get a warrant to arrest somebody. Uh, in most instances, we don't have it here, so they would appear to you, they would appear at your doorstep and arrest you without a warrant, and you can't question them. I think these are things that over a period, I'm sure we should learn about it. When you say heavy-handedness, is it before the arrest or after the arrest? I would, be, I would say before the arrest, I really haven't seen people getting beaten. Oh, you saw that. Some of the protesters say mm. they were I, 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 no, I, I, my, I, my handle could mean anything. But I well, personally no, I haven't no, seen. But you've been speaking to yes, them. Yes, I, I haven't had, carried one life, but I didn't want to interrupt. Okay. Wait, no, I, 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 I haven't one seen. One I haven't so, seen. I'm only speaking I, I to I what I've seen. I reference to him because he was yes. on the ground. Yes. Some of them. But I, they, they, they indicate that they were beaten. Okay, I haven't I seen. I haven't <clears> seen <throat> that aspect of people being beaten. But in the past, you will see in the clear view of everybody, six, seven police officers on one person who is armless beating the person. I didn't see that. And so okay. what I can say is that I'm sure there would have been some excesses. The mm -hmm. excesses, I would say, should be looked at. But let's separate the excesses from 
the conduct of the demonstrators. Because if you are not very careful, then chances are that you push state institutions into defensive mode, even though they are supposed to be professionals. Because I have seen previous videos of public officials who then were in government, who thought that the actions of the police were right. You get it. Mm -hmm. if, it was, if, if it was wrong yesterday, then we should be able to say it is wrong today. If it was right yesterday, we should be able to again say it is right today. But they, they, when it comes to these things and we are not very careful and we, we our position continue to shift, then there's a problem. I would want a situation where if you are citing me, let's say next year, <coughs> there's another demonstration or uh, EC is still reluctant. EC does and there's a demonstration and we, we don't want anything to happen. Something happens. You would, want him to, you would want me to come in and say, oh, this time around, the, the, you know, what happened probably shouldn't have happened. And so mine is that, Alfred, I think that the conduct of some of the... You had have, you have some of the demonstrators saying that, now Ghana for, for, you know, those who speak tree, for Ghana for, uh, Ghana for, now Ebiwa na Eden. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So if you go into a demonstration and you are blocking a major referral hospital and you refer to, you know, you are speaking to a camera and then you say, oh, Nagana for a Mwawe in a Bibu and Ayeding. You expect me to support you with that, Alfred? I could have been sick. And the police will say, I can't go through because it is not everybody who is carried in an ambulance. I'm sure you know. How many people are sick in this country? Taxis and trotters are ambulances in this country. So it means that if you were sick from Shiashi and the road has been blocked from Shiashi and you can't go, you have to go to Rich or you have to go to 37 and you are not in an ambulance because we have fewer ambulances, you will die. So mine is that let's situate this in the right context and so that we are able to say the excesses shouldn't, if they are excesses, they shouldn't have happened. But... The conduct of, the, he used the word public, publicity stunt. I'm not sure whether a stunt is something that you, you know, you do not to infringe on people's rights. The moment you infringe on my rights, because you see when they were burning the flags and whatever, I think I saw, I hear they burned some of the NDC. I didn't see that. I only saw that of the MPP. And I have said it repeatedly. If you want trouble in this country, try MPP or try NDC. So you saw Mustafa there, what is his name? They used something, something for MPP. Uh, Mustafa, uh, I don't, don't know his, uh, the other name. You saw him and the young people moving towards the demonstration ground to go and probably take you know, some actions against these people. I'm told the police stopped them and asked them to go. So the next day, I think the police issued a statement and said, okay, so this is what, you can see uh, him running. If you are a leader of a demonstration, you stay put, you don't run, because the moment you run, there'll be chaos. And that's what exactly happened. So for me, once the police said, we will not allow you to do A, B, C, D the next okay. day, I think that they should have been a bit more civil. But unfortunately, it happened again. So Alfred, I would end by saying that, we need to be balanced in this whole conversation, or else there will be a Kumi Preku reloaded, and people will be too afraid to come because some hoodlums will come and start throwing stones, and innocent people, because you see the, the haircut thing, the government haircut thing. that. You see, they've been picketing, uh, picketing. Have you ever heard mm. the police taking it on them? Okay. Even though these people are fairly, they are pensioners, you don't because they do it peacefully. But when people take the laws into their own hands, I tell you that, Alfred, yes, the excesses should be investigated. But let's separate it. So for me, I would say that the conduct of the, of the police in this whole thing, if they are going to continue this way, then I believe that those leaders of demonstrations, like the NDC did recently, about one million people, if you are going, about 1.6, Let's say 100,000 people from each region. That would give it 1.6. And we really did, we saw just a fraction, some small thing. And then you had a good, you know, some Ghanaians coming together to demonstrate against uh, the destruction of our water bodies, which we all support, that mm -hmm. it shouldn't happen. Oh, and okay. then we take the loss into our own hands. So for me, mm -hmm. Alfred, this is what I would want to well, say. Well, uh, 